I'm Erica Varela from Palatine, Illinois, and today I'm going to be making uh, caramel brownies. First thing you start with is a box of Devil's Food Cake Mix. You could use other types of cake mix also, but chocolate cake is the best. You start out and you pour the cake mix into the bowl. The next thing we're going to do is crack an egg and beat it. It's important to beat the egg before you add it to the mixture so that it gets well incorporated. Now we're pouring the egg into the cake mix. Okay, got all that in. So it's one cup of chopped walnuts. Pour it right into the bowl. A third of a cup of evaporated milk. So the four ingredients we have in here are the cake mix, chopped walnuts, egg, and six tablespoons of melted butter. You spray to coat evenly along the bottom of the pan and around the sides, just like that nice and evenly coated. I'm going to take two-thirds of the dough and place it into the bottom of the pan. Kind of a plop there. And the rest of the dough is still in the mixing bowl. Next, you might want to spray your fingers lightly with some cooking spray to prevent the dough from sticking to them. And then you start patting down. Pat the dough down all the way to the edges evenly. This will be the bottom crust. This goes into the oven for about six to eight minutes and forms the base for the brownies. Then we fill it with, or we sprinkle on the fillings, which are mini semi sweet chocolate chips. Heath bar pieces and um, some melted caramel. Then you put this crust in the oven for six to eight minutes at 350 degrees. While the crust is baking, it's the perfect time to melt your caramels. You take a quarter cup of the evaporated milk, pour it over the caramels. This is 40 uh, caramels unwrapped in the bowl with a quarter cup of evaporated milk. When they come out of the microwave, it will be fairly well melted. And the best thing to do then is to smoosh down all the caramels. And it looks like the milk will never get um, incorporated, but eventually it'll all, the milk will dissolve the caramels and it will be a nice gooey, liquid caramel mixture. I put the, I melted the caramels for three 30 second intervals on high for a total of a minute and a half and it looks like that might be enough. It takes quite a while though uh, to mush all the caramels down and get them to all dissolve. So we're going to give it a little time here. You want to be careful not to slosh that hot milk liquid all over your hands. Get some third degree burns off of that. As you can see the steam coming off. But that caramel sure smells good. It's starting to make this whole caramel brownie dish come together. Now you want it nice and creamy so it's pourable. So when the crust comes out, it'll pour right over the crust. You'll see these rivers of caramel running through the brownies. And as you break open a piece of the brownie, it'll just goo, it'll just come off in gooey strings. So you don't want to press down too much when you add the ingredients on, but that crust is just par-baked. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is sprinkle on the mini chocolate chips. You want to sprinkle them evenly over the bottom of the crust because you won't be able to move them after they're on. Once they hit that hot chocolate crust, they start to melt instantly and get nice and gooey and incorporated. The next thing we add are the Heath Bar 
bits. You can get these pre-crushed and packaged in the baking aisle. And you just sprinkle them on evenly. You want them to get a nice even coating because like I said before, you don't want to touch them after they're on there because you'll dent the crust. All right, now that we have those sprinkled on the top, it's time for our ooey gooey caramel layer. Stir it up a little and you're ready to pour. Here we go. You want to get nice even strips of caramel on top of the crust so that everybody gets a nice bite of caramel in each piece. Okay, you have long rows and columns going across and down, evenly coating all that caramel. I don't want to miss a bit. Remember we reserved one third of the dough mixture. And what we're going to do is we're going to make little pucks or little patties out of this, chunk by chunk, and place them on top of the brownie filling. So you just lay these, these patties down on top and you want to leave a little bit of the caramel showing through because that will make it look like caramel rivers running through your brownies and that will add to the visual effect. These can be any size, any shape. Just kind of lay them down. And what you're trying to do is uh, evenly coat the topping. without covering up too much of that caramel underneath. Make a patty out of it and slide it on. Some good stuff. Now, kind of judge whatever shape you have coming up. Like I'm trying to get a piece that looks a little bit more like a corner. And then I lay it down right on top of that bottom. Then you fill in the empty spaces with a little bit of topping here and there. Oh, it's getting gooey. <laughs> we'll get this into the oven. It bakes at 350 for 18 to 20 additional minutes. So it was first six to eight minutes for the crust and now 18 to 20 for the rest of it. So here it goes into the oven. As you can see, the crust topping has spread and covered a lot of the caramel but you can still see the caramel running through. You want to let this sit for about half hour, 45 minutes before you cut it. Give the brownie a little bit of time to set up. The caramel will still be gooey and soft, so it'll be great and melty. All right, pull that first piece out. You can smell the chocolate and caramel aroma coming off of these brownies and that smell makes the kids come running for caramel brownies. And you can see how the caramel kind of oozes out of each layer. Excellent. Mm -hmm.